All right, guys, so we're back with a brand new video, and I'm going to show you guys how to set up your GraphQL queries and call them from your React application all the way to the back end. Okay, so you need to make sure you install Apollo client as well as Apollo GraphQL. So it's pretty straightforward. You just type in yarn or npm install. Well, I'm going to type in yarn add. For you guys, if you're using npm, you would do npm install, and you want to do Apollo client like that and you want to make sure you also install graphql okay these are two dependencies that are required and that's pretty much it. those are the only two things that you'll be installing okay once you've installed those two dependencies we're going to go ahead and import apollo client from apollo client so you should see the intelligence pop right over there okay so we need to basically create a client now, the thing with our application is that it requires authentication. So we are going to need to pass in the credentials because by default it doesn't. So we're going to import create HTTP link. And we're going to go ahead and declare a variable called link. And we're going to invoke HTTP link because this is a function. The URI, we're going to take in HTTP localhost port 3001 GraphQL. And credentials, we're going to set this to include. Okay, we're on different domains, like our React app is on port 3000, and our GraphQL server is on port 3001, so those are considered different domains. But if you're hosting this on the same domain, you can just specify same origin. And now we'll create a client by instantiating the Apollo client class, and we want to pass in link, just like that, and we're going to pass in the cache, and we're going to import in memory cache from Apollo client, and we'll create a new instance of in-memory cache. So the cache port just allows you to save data that's fetched from the backend so that you can use it another time. So usually caches are used for better performance, so you can use this. And after we have done this, we need to actually provide the client into our application somehow. And to do that, we're going to import something called Apollo Provider. And we're going to need to wrap our application around Apollo provider. And there's a prop that we're going to pass in called client. Okay, there we go. And that's literally all you have to do. That's all it is. Okay, so if we want to go into our app, it should still work just fine. And there you go, our app works just fine. Okay, so what's next, right? After we've done this part, how do we actually make our GraphQL queries. Okay, well, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder called GraphQL. And I'm going to create two folders inside GraphQL called queries, one for queries and one for mutations. Now, I'm going to create an index.js file, and I'm just going to store all the queries inside here. But we want to create two queries. One query is going to get all of the data for dashboard page, and one query is going to get all the data for menu page. Because right now, if you look at menu page, we're making two REST API calls, which is not a lot, but if we were to scale our application, we would end up, we might end up needing to make a bunch of different, like, you know, API calls, like probably like five or six or seven. So it's better if we start using GraphQL for this. So instead of doing this, we can just make one API call. Now for dashboard page, we're making, I think, what, three or four? One, two, three, yeah, three. Okay, so let's do this. Let's create a query. So in order to create a query, we're going to need to import something from the Apollo client. So we're gonna go ahead and import GQL. And this is going to allow us to create our GraphQL queries. So we're going to create a query called menu page query. And we're going to type GQL and then backticks. These are not quotes. These are backticks. Let me zoom in a little bit. So hopefully you guys can see that. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and create our query similar to how we did that in the GraphQL UI in the previous videos. And this is going to call or GraphQL server, and we're going to call this get menu page query. And we're only going to make two queries in here. So or call for two fields. So we're going to call for get user. And we're going to ask for discord ID, discord tag, 
avatar and then get mutual guilds we'll do included so we need at least the name and the id and then excluded name and id remember the get user is going to retrieve the user details okay and then get mutual guilds is going to give us all the guilds that the, both the bot and the user is in where the user has the managed server permission at least the managed server permission all right, so this is going to take care of retrieving all of the data from the menu. Okay, and we're going to set up one more query. So I'll do that real quick. So this query is going to be getting dashboard data. So cons or I'm sorry, not dashboard data, dashboard page data. So for the actual page itself. I have to clarify that because some people might be confused. Like, what do you mean by dashboard data? That's, isn't the whole application? So no, it's just when I say dashboard page, I mean the actual individual page itself. So GQL. Okay. And we're going to go ahead. And this query is going to be a little bit different in the sense that we're going to take in a parameter because we need to get the guild config as well as the guild roles. And we need a unique guild ID for that. So query get dashboard page data. Okay, and to pass in the parameter, so we're going to pass in the guild ID as a parameter, and the type is going to be a string, and it literally looks like the same way that you would invoke a function, and we're going to ask for, let's see, get user, discord ID, discord tag, and then the avatar, it's the same thing as above, okay, nothing's different, but this time we're going to ask for get guild config, now in case you guys are confused, remember, these field names are all of the same field names that we have defined on the back end. Okay, remember in our, uh, let's see, where is it? GraphQL over here. We define all of these on the back end. So you want to make sure they're the same exact name. Okay, so for get guild config, we're going to take in the guild ID. And whatever we're passing in for this guild ID over here is going to be passed in as a value for this parameter. And we're going to ask for the prefix, the guild ID, default role, and member log channel. And now we're going to ask for get guild roles. So guild ID, guild ID. And we're going to ask for the ID, name, color, and hoist. Probably only need ID and name, to be honest. So we probably don't need the color and hoist. But yeah, so that's pretty much our query. Okay, that's all it is. So in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and actually call these queries and show you guys that it actually works. So hopefully this video made sense and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.